And welcome back, this is Baller Scooby with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. I am joined as always by my team of Fallout Luke, Finny, and Novin, and we are in the Terra Cavern. Uh, first I want to show you guys, well, a random battle, because I'm pretty sure there's new stuff here. There is, these are Minotaurs, Minotaurs, I've heard it both ways, I'm not exactly sure which one's right, I think it's Minotaurs. And as you can see, I'm probably a little bit more powerful than you remember. If you paid careful attention, you'll have noticed that everybody is level 14. Why? Because I spent time grinding in here. It was awesome. Um, I got Cure 3 and Dia 3, um, and Fire 3 for Novin right now. And how did I level grind? I went here. This is the Hall of Giants. From this point forward, every step will be a random encounter with a Hilgigas and maybe a couple lizards. Uh, Hilgigas are mandatory, and there are quite a few of them here. So I'm going to try to take out the Hilgigas first. No guarantee I'm going to be able to do it even... Oh, wow! I got lucky there. I got two criticals with Fallout and Luke, and that was able to finish off the Hilgigas. Um, I've faced up to two of those with a couple lizards. It is not a fun time, but yes, every step down this hall... Um, to the south will result in a random battle. So yeah, they'll get you a lot of experience in gold. And we've seen gargoyles before. So first things first, after you go there, there's nothing there, just the little... We want to go north, and what we're gonna find is treasure this way! To the north, if we find this What's inside this room? One treasure chest. But what's inside the treasure chest? We'll have to do the scripted battle to find out, and we're up against a Noma. These things are tough, I won't even lie. Uh, now, usually against this kind of thing, you would want to do magic. So let's go ahead and do a fire two, and we'll find out how well it works. Come on, Novin! Yeah, look how strong that thing is. Fire two! Because I want to save the file three. And yes! We do a ton of damage. Thank you, Nelvin. Uh, that guy is strong against bolt. Don't use bolt. Or ice. It's weird. Just fire. One more thing I should mention. Bring lots of antidotes. Because there's tons of poison enemies around here. Like these cobras. Okay, let's keep going. Now what we want to do is go south on this side over here. And this will lead us to more treasure! First we want to go to the left side. Because I know there's treasure down here. Here we go. What have we got? We've got two treasure chests with scripted battles for each of them up against Nomas. Um, so let's go with just a regular fire one. I know it's not going to do nearly as much damage as the fire two. But... Really, I need to save as much magic as I can, even though these guys are technically boss fights, I would consider. But I am able to take him out on turn two after he did get his attack in, so no loss there, really. And here we find a potion. Yeah, for that fight, we get a potion. Oh, so not worth it. And what do we get here? Is this... Oh, no, these are just Cobras. I thought it was another scripted battle, but it's not. Be right back again. So let us leave this room, and then we'll go... That's the thing about this dungeon. It is designed badly for... Because you keep on having to go right back towards the middle where you started if you want to get the other treasure. So over here, what do we have? We've got 795 gil and a scripted battle with a Noma. Are you sensing a theme yet? Come on, fire! 10 to 40 damage, it does 40. Sweet, I will take that. Come on, Luke, for the win! Not quite for the win, but that's alright. That sh this round should be enough, should... F yeah, Luke will finish him off, right? That's enough. Yeah, there we go. Good. But, man, these guys are giving us a ton of experience and gill, so I am willing to fight them, and yeah, we get an antidote. The treasure here is not very good for the level of enemies that we're fighting. So we move back to the middle. Yes, we go all the way back to the middle. I'm going to use a tent when we get there, maybe even two, just to be safe, and I'll meet you right back inside. Be right back. 
All right, so I did end up using two tents, and you can, as you can see, we're still not fully healed. Um, I didn't go over the items. You will need a lot of antidotes, uh, potions, and tents. Like you didn't already know that. I do have cottages, but I don't feel comfortable using them right now because they are so, so precious. And I do have a gold needle. Um, cure stone, but it's outrageously expensive. What we need to do now is we need to go east, and that will lead us to the stairs. And what's down these stairs here? Why, the next level of the cavern, of course. And oh, we do have a split here, and I do believe I want to go south. Oh, great, we're finding hill gigas enemies uh, as regular random encounters now. So we want to keep going south, and then we're going to follow the path. And hopefully it will lead us where we want to go. I think I need to go up from here. And keep going right. And then I believe it's south. I mean, this place is kind of a maze. And what we want to do... Yes, there we go. Luckily I was able to find it, and we find ourselves in the third cavern. And, oh, I see a door. I want to go in the door. Okay, what, what what's in the door? Is there anything? There's treasure to be had. There's a sleeping bag, which is pretty much useless now. At this point in the game, I have ten. Okay, let's keep going north-ish. Then, okay, there's a room over here. Is this a scripted battle? Is it going to be a Doma? Oh my god. Yeah, this game does not mess around. That's definitely a scripted battle. What do we got, a Noma? There it is. I was waiting for you, dude. Uh, let's go with the fire again. Hopefully it does 40. Oh, it does 50, so yeah, he's definitely weak against fire. Use fire on him. Oh my god. Did you see how much damage he just did? Did you see that? I'm gonna have to heal again. We haven't even gotten to the fight, to the actual fight yet. That's the crazy thing. And what do we get for that fight? 3,400 yell. At least that was worth it. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, let's get out of this room here, and then I believe we want to go east because west is further along. Okay, that's a dead. So let's try going south. Okay. So there was nothing to the east. I don't want to go down. Ah, fine, I'll do it. God. The LP earned me. Overrides the the conscious side of my brain that tells me not to do horrible things to myself. So, for exploration's sake and completeness sake, let's find out what's down here. We do have a door! Oh, I bet it's totally not worth it. Yeah, it's just a potion. Don't, don't come down here for a potion. Okay, well, what do we got? This way, I mean, there's so many bats. I hate them, they're always in my way. Can I just, like, type umbrella or something? Doesn't that work? Or is that a different game? Okay, let's keep going. Oh my god, get out of my way, bat. Unless this is... Oh, that's definitely a scripted fight here. Okay. Um, yeah. How many do I... Okay, I get two. I'm using one. Go, fire, three, kill the Prisco demons. That's not exactly what I had in mind, but it'll do. Yeah, they're strong against fire. I forget that. And they do a ton of damage. Hopefully, I can wipe them out this turn before they get a shot in. No, of course not. No, nope, they both get shots in. And they both do massive amounts of damage on some of my fighters. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. But we get the win, and that's what's important. And now will you get out of my way, you freaking bat? No, I have to talk to him. And he says, key. Move. Dude. Seriously. Oh my god. Get out of my way. And there's nothing but bats in there. That's, that's fantastic. Freaking bats. Okay, this is definitely going to be a little boss run, isn't it? You guys aren't going to let me get away with anything. I thought this wasn't going to be a scripted battle that I just happened to random this fight, but as soon as the Pisco Demon showed up, I'm like, oh, this is scripted, isn't it? You dicks. Just going to make me go through all the Pisco Demons one at a time. I bet I have to go through them on the way back, too. That's not cool. Um, I think... Okay, yeah, there's nothing down there. 
Okay, let's just go in this little door here. There's nothing that could be bad here. Oh, Winoma. Great. Please kill it. I would like it to die. Oh my god. <laughs> Please don't kill me, Mr. Noma. Please, I haven't done anything wrong. Have a fire? You like fire, don't you? Holy crap. Please die. Thank you for dying. Please give me something worthwhile. Don't, don't make... <sighs> That's not really what I had in mind. But I'll take it. Okay, now we're in the middle of the room. And, oh, this, is, this looks scripted to me. Does it look scripted to you? I'll be right back after I healed up. Okay, I'm relatively healed up. Let's go ahead for the fight. You want to keep a... Well, I'll show you when we're in the fight. The seal cannot be lifted and so the earth shall rot. And, oh my god, it's not a bat. Does that surprise anybody? Uh, it's Count Chocula. Okay. Allow me to free you from your miserable mortal state. Now, there's... There's a boss intro right there. Let me free you from your miserable mortal state. Okay, um, you don't want to use all your cure 3s. You want at least one of them. I kept two just in case because this guy is undead and you want to use dia 3 on him. And you also want to use fire 3 on him. And then he should be easy. Fingers crossed. 242. And Novin one-shotted him. How awesome is that? Pretty much one-shotted him. He did have a little help, but good lord, did Novin really save our ass there. And for that, we get another random battle. Yeah, after after the boss fight, we're going to get random battles. How messed up is that? Okay, can I get the treasure, please? Thank you. And what do I get? I get the Star Ruby, which uh, I'm sure would sell for a lot, but I will never find out. Do you want to know why? Because we have to feed it to somebody. Yeah, you heard me right. We have to feed it to somebody. You seem to have a an evil force. That doesn't really help me. Okay, so I will meet you back outside the terror cavern. You know what? We're going all the way back to... Well, I'll meet you at the Earth Cave, the, the one with the giant that we are in before. And we're going to feed him a Star Ruby because that's what we do. I'll meet you there. Alright, and we're back at, what's it called? Titan's Cave, sorry. I think I called it the Earth Cave, uh, mistakenly before. But we're back at Titan's Cave, and remember this guy that was in our way? He said he liked to eat rocks, I think. But yes, we hand him the ruby, the thing that we probably could have sold for a lot of money. Oh, stone ass. Thank you for that. And he eats it. And then we will never see our money, ever, ever again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, money. So if you go to the south here, uh, a lot of people forget about this room. What the hell? We have a lesser tiger. I, I, I don't want to see what a greater tiger is if this thing is lesser. That was like a freaking saber tooth, but it's not all that powerful since I was able to take it out so quickly. Um, so in here, there are four treasure chests. Don't miss these. I assume these are scripted battles. Uh, with three lesser tigers, okay. Um, yeah, not too strong. I mean, they're decently strong, don't get me wrong. It's not like they're, they're pushovers, but I expected so much more from tigers. Maybe that's just me. And down goes the other tiger? Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. Well, dude, one hit. Where's your combo now, Luke? Could have used that. 620 gil, 150 gil, and a mithril helm, which I do believe goes on the fighter. And yeah, nobody else can use any of the other stuff. Okay. So then, after we get that treasure, we can head out north to the other side. Break on through to the other side. But what's over here? You'll have to find out next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.